Oh, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Turn to discuss further into trigonometric integrals and I'll go over example 7 of the example series. Before I get to that, I just want to quickly uh, state that in my earlier video, I went over guidelines for evaluating integrals of the form right here. Integral of tan to the power of m of x times secant to the power of n of x dx, where m and n are integers and uh, m and n are both uh, greater than or equal to zero. In the guidelines, I went over two specific cases where n is even right here and m is, oh, and then the second one, m is odd and n is greater than zero and, uh, well, and not even, or it could be both, doesn't matter. Uh, now, for other cases, the guidelines are not as clear cut. Yeah, we would need to use identities, integration by parts, and sometimes uh, or occasionally a little ingenuity in solving the integral. We will sometimes uh, need the formulas for integrals of tan of x and secant of x, and I've solved, uh, I've proven these in my earlier videos, so make sure to watch those. They're also in the link below, and that's right here, integral of tan of x. This equals to ln secant of x plus constant c, and integral of secant of x, this equals to ln absolute value secant x plus tan x, uh, absolute value, and then plus c, the constant c. So you can see the proof for these in the video links below. And now we'll, we'll go over this example, which is find integral of tan cubed of x dx. And as you can see, this doesn't uh, apply, uh, yeah, this isn't part of any of these two cases. So there's no n, n is actually 0. And m is, uh, well, it's odd, and n it's, it's equal to 0 in this case. So that n is this one right here, m is right there. So we just have this one. So uh, to deal with this one, we could try to separate a tan of x out of there. So we would write this as tan cubed of x dx equals 2. Now this is going to be tan of x times it by um, tan squared of x. Now the reason we write this is because now we can convert tan squared of x to secant squared of x from, well, we know the, oh, yeah, we know the trig uh, identity right here, which is tan squared of x equals two secant squared of x minus one. No, let's solve that. Yes, yeah, so we know this identity, so we could plug this inside. So we get basically right here is equal to integral of tan of x secant squared of x minus 1, and then this is dx. And now, because we know the integral of tan of x, we could separate this uh, integral into two. So we get integral of tan of x secant squared of x minus integral of tan of x dx. So now we know what this one is. That's just ln absolute value of secant of x. And now this part, this is uh, n, this is, can be considered n, that's m. So n is even. So we could apply well either of the two, but this we could apply uh, the case for this one here. So in this case right here, uh, yeah, this is dx right there. We could uh, just quickly uh, let u equal to basically tan of x, the substitution rule, and du is going to be the derivative of this, is just going to be, well, secant squared of x dx. So we can just apply this inside. So overall we get integral of tan of x cubed dx equals 2. This is now u, That's and then this secant squared of x is entirely there, that's just going to be du, and minus over here, that's just ln of secant x, uh, right there, and we'll add a constant later, because we still have an integral right here. So now this equals to u squared over uh, 2, minus ln secant of x, now we add the constant plus c, and now we can just throw the tan x back inside. So we get tan x squared over 2 minus ln secant of x 
plus c. And there is our final answer. And that's integral of 10 cubed of x. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this video. And I'll go over another example in a, a later video. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this. You can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.